2013 at Spears has been particularly good for the mushrooms. These are honey mushrooms growing on old logs. This black material here is the mycelium, the body of the fungus, whilst the structure above the ground is the effectively the flower, the portion that produces the seeds, or spores as they're called in mushrooms. Here we've got from the very youngest to the much more developed. Over here we have some that are reaching the point they're about to go into decay. There are large numbers of flies flying around. They may be from maggots that are eating the mushrooms which have hatched out into the adult stage. Phenomenal numbers of these honey fungus. The honey fungus is also known by its scientific name, which is Armillaria milii. They are among, amongst the largest organisms on Earth. In one study in the United States, they took samples from an area which covered more than two square miles, and it turned out that the mycelium, the body of the fungus, was the same over that whole area. So it was all the same single organism. Another peculiarity of the honey fungus is that it gives out light. It's bioluminescent. Not just the structure above the ground, the mushroom itself, but also the mycelium. Another name for the honey mushroom is the bootstrap or bootlace mushroom because the body of the mushroom is black and looks very much like boot laces. Here we have something very unusual. This white, fluffy, cotton wool-like material might normally be thought to be the mycelium, but being this species with a black mycelium, that can't be. And it appears to be a type of fungus that's parasitic on this fungus. Very unusual. You can see the fluffy white fungus, the parasite, growing into the stipe or stem of the honey fungus. These fungi here are post-mature. The number of spores given out by fungi, each one gives out in the millions. So there are phenomenal numbers of the spores of this mushroom blowing around in the air.